What it do, y'all? This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe at the like button for me. So, this story here caused quite a big stink today. So, Quentin Miller, for those who don't know who that is, he was the one that supposedly been ghostwriting a lot of Drake's biggest projects and a lot of his rhymes. So, he got on today doing an interview, and he was talking about the people that he worked with. And he mentioned some names. He mentioned Jeezy, Big Sean, and Nas. And now people are running through the narrative saying, oh, Quinn Miller is writing Nas's raps. That's not exactly how this works. I know y'all so thirsty to run with a story. I know y'all so eager because some people have a gripe with Nas for some weird reason. They want to run with this angle. That's not what ghostwriting is. He said, number one, you got to look in the key quotation. He didn't say he wrote for Nas and Jeezy and um, Big Sean. He said he did work with them. That's number one. And whomever was doing the interview dropped the ball because a true interviewer, a true journalist would have followed that up like, okay. Be more specific. Did you write did you write bars for them? Did you write hooks? Did you do bridges? Because that's what truly this means. It could be lines, it could be hooks, it could be bridges to a song, it could be background vocals. Anybody anybody that believe he wrote whole verses for Nas is either naive to the business or just don't want to believe it or just want to believe it because it makes a fascinating story. Because see the difference is people want to compare this now to Drake. The difference is between Drake and this is Drake had whole reference songs lead. Nas doesn't thus far. And then people want to bring up Stickman and Jay Alec writing for Nas on uh, Untitled. Nas credited them because they brought ideas. See, this is what people don't understand about this. Nobody can write all that stuff and have a 20, 30 year career without help. Okay, this does not disc discredit anything from Nas whatsoever. Sometimes we need help. Sometimes you have writer's block. Stickman or Jaylet probably came through with a concept, a line, an idea, and Nas probably built it around that concept and he credited it. That's what producing or that's what co-writing credits are. It's not ghostwriting. People are running with the narrative that he went in there and wrote Nas's bars. Nope, nope, nope. This is not what it means. I wanted to put clarity here what this truly means. Just like, for example, if I'm helping somebody produce, it doesn't mean getting behind the keyboards and working a beat. You're giving ideas. You're bringing guitarists. You're bringing different engineers. You're creating the magic. So you're going to get credit for that. Because you brought the ideas. This is what this means. But you know people are bored. People love to run with negative stories. Even if it ain't true. So that's exactly what this really means. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Holla.